I want to welcome you guys back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. Today we're going to talk a little bit about hand fishing. Uh, hopefully by you guys putting my videos together, if you've been following them, uh, where to find river, uh, where to find catfish on the river, and where to catfish nest. If you can combine those, first locate the holes in the river, and then locate where in that hole the fish would nest. Then you can proceed to do some hand fishing in those areas. So uh, today I'm going to talk to you about once you find that spot, how to approach a catfish, how to grab it, how to handle it. So let me get a, a catfish and show you how we're going to do this. Okay, so here's a little flathead that I caught just just a few minutes ago. Um, but I wanted to show you about a flathead. I had talked to you before about the coloring of a flathead and how it has that camo pattern, which makes them, you know, height. They they blend in into their surroundings, so they'll they'll lay still a lot of times when you approach them. Another thing that a flathead has, if you can see, is this underbite or this his jaw sticks out over his bottom jaw sticks out over the top jaw and that allows a handle for you to hold on to if you can see into the water and you're looking for the fish one thing that stands out on a flathead are these white barbell whiskers that he has and a lot of people are mistaken and they think that these are, are what's going to poke you but these are very soft and as you can see they're almost like a noodle they, they don't they don't hurt you at all. The things you do have to watch out for are the spines that they have here and here. But as a fish gets older, the spines wear down and they won't really hurt you. But a smaller fish, they're, they're very sharp and, and actually have a mild poison. In. So I'm going to set this fish down here and we're going to assume that it's nesting. So let's say we've located this fish, whether it's in a hole or hiding in some branches. As you approach this fish, you never want to try to grab it by the tail or by the body because it'll just squirm out, wiggle its way out. You have to immobilize it by grabbing it by the head, by the mouth, or by the gill. A flathead this size is, is fairly small, so you can't fit your whole hand into its mouth. But if you could get a few fingers in and grab a hold of it, that, that bottom jaw works as a handle so you can hold on to him. But once you have a hold of him, he's going to start flapping around. So as soon as you get him free from his surroundings, you need to immobilize him by hugging him to your body like this. That'll keep him from thrashing around. Another way is get your thumb in and then hook the, the gill cover like so to make sure that he can't get out of there. If it's a smaller c catfish, you can immobilize him by grabbing his head and his, and his fins and holding him like that. Now a catfish, if, if you can see the teeth on it, I don't know if you can see that right there but they're like velcro they're 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 not really much to worry about but the combination of this grabbing onto your skin and the fish thrashing back and forth it's kind of like sandpaper and if you can see that that's what it'll do to you it tears you up all right so some people use gloves, me, I, I, I don't mind, I kind of see it as, you know, just part of the deal. But that's the basic uh, way, once you're in the water hand fishing, you know, if the water's clear enough, use some goggles, it makes a big difference. And when you're sticking your hands in these holes, please be careful, there's beavers, there's snapping turtles, there's all kinds of things out there that uh, could easily take off a finger. 
So hopefully these tips will help you out. And as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, be safe and take care.